it's like a pendulum effect. We've gone kind of extreme from one extreme end to the other, whereby every kid is labelled, every person is labelled as having some deficiency, some problem. Maybe you're just ready to go. What actually is wellness? Your mental wellness, I suppose how your brain functions, like 80 trillion different brain cells, and they all have little interconnections that cause how you think and how you function. How does that work with you? What's your self-confidence like, your self-esteem, your self-awareness? Again, no getting very heavy, might be uncomfortable for some people, but we have to question it. Your emotions, so this is like resilience. Like how many people can control it? Like it's normal to be angry and upset. So as soon as you have an argument with a partner, what people think is, I'm breaking up, I'm done, I'm over. I'm like, okay, it's okay to be upset. I didn't get the promotion I wanted. Okay, you're upset. It's okay, it's natural. You're not depressed, you're just upset. Okay, we don't have to label everything. Emotions are there. I think we've got very, it's like a pendulum effect. We've gone kind of extreme from one extreme end to the other, whereby every kid is labeled, every person is labeled as having some deficiency, some problem. Maybe you're just upset. Just control your emotions. Put yourself in an environment and realize why you're upset. Someone makes you feel like crap. Step away from it. Control it. Okay, you're gonna face loss, experiences, breakups. Surround yourself with people to help you through it. That's emotional resilience and emotional awareness and empathy. And then spiritual wellness, people think of religion. It's not. It's just seen as a bigger purpose. For me, don't mean to sound arrogant in any way, um, and I'm, I'm not saying I'm selfless, like I'm a little bit selfish, I want to have a good quality of life as well, but I think that my brain has the capacity to help a lot of people. I think there's a bigger purpose. So if there's a bigger purpose with you and what you're doing, and maybe your bigger purpose could be your kids, maybe it's to shape them, I don't know. Maybe your bigger purpose is that you want to go on and achieve something or help someone or influence a certain area or tackle loneliness amongst the elderly or whatever you want to do. You know there's a bigger purpose than just you and that can drive you and that's spiritual wellness.